The American Civil War was the bloodiest conflict in U.S. history. And as hundreds of thousands of Union and Confederate troops fell to injury and disease, medical professionals scrambled to provide health care on an unprecedented scale. But history was not on their side. In the decades leading up to the war, medical advances had been slow in the United States. There were few hospitals, fewer medical schools, And the so-called democratization of the medical profession meant that training for doctors was downplayed, and the healthcare regulations imposed on them were patchy at best. When the war began in 1861, wounded soldiers were mostly treated in makeshift hospitals installed in buildings used for other purposes, like tobacco warehouses in Richmond, Virginia, and government buildings in Washington, D.C. As a result, patient outcomes were poor. It was clear that medical processes and services needed to improve. Using reports made by military personnel sent to study the Crimean War and groundbreaking research conducted by Florence Nightingale, the founder of modern nursing, the U.S. Sanitary Commission recommended the rollout of new pavilion-styled hospitals. They were warm, filled with light, and easily ventilated. And crucially, could accommodate hundreds of patients at a time. While Confederate Surgeon General Samuel Preston Moore supervised the creation of the first pavilion-style hospital in America, the reforms introduced by his Union counterpart, William Hammond, were far-reaching. They included the creation of a national military hospital system staffed by trained physicians and administrators, where new patterns of hygiene, diet, and cleanliness were observed. And medical research and training took place. Although more than 620,000 Americans died during the Civil War from illness, disease, or combat, many lives were saved in these sophisticated new general hospitals. Combined with the subsequent acceptance of germ theory and post-war advances in technology, the medical lessons learned during the Civil War would forever change how the U.S. military cares for its troops. How did Civil War hospitals help change the direction of American medicine? 